Intern Views, the series where I interview people I've never met about things unrelated to the pandemic. Also, we have fun, hopefully. Today's guest is Andrew Broderick. The only rules are that we're not allowed to talk about the pandemic at all. Okay. Which I don't want to talk about anyway. Yeah, and also I made that rule, so I guess like it would be me enforcing that. Well, how many seasons have you been at Shock? <laughs> Four. This is my fourth season. Four, wow. Five years. Okay. And yeah. what, it, for you, what is the thing that sort of keeps you coming back? Like, what is it about working at Shaw that makes it sort of a great place for you to be as an actor? Why do I come back? The shows, the people, the community, I would say everyone's very supportive. Um, it's like not a place for finished product, which I really love. It's like, you should be growing throughout the entire season. Your performance should not be stagnant in any way. Mm. Um, so that's kind of sexy to me, you know? Um, are you a triple threat? Are you singer, dancer, actor, actor, singer? What's your, what's your order? What's <laughs> my order? Uh, it's changed over the years quite a lot. Actually, when I first started, it was chorus boy type stuff. And then... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what you like put on your resume. You were like right? available for chorus boy -y things. Type things. And then um, someone took a chance on me. I think Donna Fior. And I started playing parts after then. Is there like one of those three that really sort of has your heart? Uh, I started singing growing up in the church. And then um, I was on a really bad reality TV show when I was 16 and made it quite far. Which one? <laughs> I'm not telling you. I mean, you know that I wanna, I'm gonna Google this. <laughs> I'm gonna try to find everything I can. What's up Canada? I'm Andrew Broderick from Sharon, Ontario, and I'm 16 years old. How are you? My first audition, the judges were amazing. I was really nervous. Right, you're a jet setter and you're very famous. And no, but whatever. And that's what this is. That's, that's it, that's the whole interview, is I was like, who is the most famous person? I pick Andrew. I would say, yeah, singing. Singing is the thing that I do where I feel, I guess my heart open up. Yeah. And I can be alone and do it and still feel that same feeling, which is really nice. Absolutely. I think that's where my passion has lived for the longest amount of time. So you were supposed to be uh, doing Gypsy and Assassins this mm -hmm. season. And what's really interesting about that, I was supposed to be doing both of those as well, is that uh, they're both Sondheim shows and technically in the sense that he wrote the lyrics for Gypsy. Um, but obviously incredibly different shows in terms of where they live in your headspace. And I imagine in your past seasons at Shaw, you've had similar splits where like you're, you're sort of having to unpack and use really different parts of your brain um, while in a rep season. Can you talk a little bit about um, how you either prepare for that or even during the season, just how you make those shifts back and forth between sort of different worlds? It's going to sound crazy, but like napping? Like on double show days, <laughs> as long as I have a 10 minute lie down to like reset, it is a new day. And it does feel quite easy, like entering a new world. Um, that and like a different warm up per show. Okay. Warm up, I'll like switch it up a 15 minute, like hardcore power workout. And then like a gentle yoga flow. Um, yeah, like a physical slash like mental mind shift always kind of helps. But I think the nap is underrated. And <laughs> I no, you, I am on your team. I'm on team nap. Are you like a power napper? Absolutely. Like you I'm can fall asleep dead and then be awake in 15 minutes. And I'll be fine. Yeah. It's a new day. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the same. Like I'll have a cup of coffee, go lie down, wake up and like, <sighs> hi there. I love that. There's like maple syrup places open now and like ice cream oh. shop. It's scary wow well maple syrup and ice cream do bring all the boys to the yard that's what i've heard what's your what is your sort of jam it, when you're you know summering in a small town ah good question 
I get outside quite a lot. I try to like ride around, um, find little secret nooks and crannies that no one really knows about. What else do I do? What a good question. Ah! But you're gonna edit that out. What? What am I editing out? <laughs> I'm not editing out anything. There's no edit. <laughs> this is actually it. It's live. I lied to you. We're just doing a live show. What is it that keeps you pursuing the work? What is it that keeps you pursuing this career path? Hmm. Like, honestly, many things. I would say trips to New York City and seeing myself represented in ways that I don't always see here, here being Canada. Yeah, so I would say, like, going to New York, seeing myself on stage, seeing amazing actors, also being here and seeing, like, lovely people perform that uh, take risks every single day um, who don't play it safe. It's inspiring. Oh, is this going okay? This is going great. You're doing fabulous. I feel oh. nervous. You're still nervous? Oh my God, can you tell? No, I mean, calm down. But tell me about uh, a first memory or an early memory of a show that made you just like come alive. The Lion King. I was probably in grade five, I want to say, five or six. And I like ran home and said like, mom, this needs to happen. I need to like be Simba. I'm going to be young Simba. And they had an audition like maybe, maybe a few months later. It was like in the Toronto Star or something. Like, look, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And my mom was like, um, maybe when you're older. <laughs> you didn't let me go. If it's not good, Rob, we're just going to like do it again. Uh, coffee or tea? Coffee. White or red wine? Red. It's a question. You're, you people are allowed. Okay. <laughs> red. Okay. So then the very last thing is, yeah. uh, you have to ask me a question. Uh, what's behind you? I want to know what's one thing you haven't done yet in your life that you really, really want to do. Uh, I haven't directed Shakespeare and I would really like to. That's easy. You're going to do it. Yeah. I mean, I hope so. That's the plan. So uh, if you're available when I'm casting, um, we'll, do, we'll hook it up. It'll be perfect. Awesome. And we'll go to Broadway. Yeah, with the Shakespeare. <laughs> He's very popular on Broadway. Um, well, this was great. Thank you so much. Yeah, but honestly, like, if it's not good, if you think that I don't sound very intelligent, because I am smart, okay? <laughs> <laughs>